Now, West Michigan Church is helping its community through the pandemic by giving away handmade masks. News 8's Kyle Mitchell gives us a look at the effort there. Simpson United Methodist Church in Bangor has seen an overwhelming demand for masks. At one point, all of these clips at the front entrance were completely full. At the front door to this church, We've had six people today either call or stop by requesting. He's a program trying to help the community one face mask at a time. I knew that it was a need in our community. I mean, we're not the wealthiest community in the state, and I knew people didn't have the resources to go out and purchase masks, even if they were available to purchase. Pastor Mona Jocelyn loves to sew and saw making face masks as a way the congregation could get involved with fighting the pandemic. We have people who don't sew, but they're cutting the squares so that somebody else can sew them. The the church has made around 200 masks with more on the way. I've made 53 so far. Alice Reisman is one of the volunteers sewing masks. She wants the effort to inspire other churches to get involved. People in other towns now are calling me, do you have any masks? So I'm hoping other churches are going to step up and will follow suit. As word spread on social media, people started donating crucial supplies, some that are becoming especially hard to find. It's the elastic. You just can't find elastic right now. We'll just keep sewing um, until the demand isn't there. Jean Zipka is the receptionist for the church and has sewn more than 50 herself. It's really easy to do, and there are tons of YouTube videos to show you how to make different designs, whether it's a non-sewing one, make them out of t-shirts. As thank you notes replace masks, the community is showing the work isn't going unnoticed. We're not really doing this for any recognition. We're doing it because we want people to be safe. If you want to learn how to donate materials or help with the effort, we've posted a link on woodtv.com. In Bangor, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.